So you know the character of Al Shabab. Uh, they like to, uh, to to fight in, hit and run. So they think it to be payback. Now they are hiding here, more under trees. Ethiopian officials remember the unpleasant end to their last stay in Somalia. They have promised to leave by Doha as soon as conditions are stable. But Al Shabab fighters have not been defeated. They've only melted into the countryside. Stability appears a long way off. Peter Heinlein, VOA News in Baidoa, Somalia. Clan elders liken the damage inflicted by Al-Shabaab to an earthquake. Elder Malim Ali Barter says no aid organizations have arrived since Al-Shabaab left. He appealed for urgent disaster relief. A lot of people are dying. They are hungry and thirsty and in desperate need of international assistance. Regional Governor Abdi Fattah Mohamed Ibrahim says long-term military aid will also be needed to prevent a comeback by al-Qaeda-linked forces. Displaying weaponry captured from al-Shabaab, he said the extremist threat could only be eliminated when their fighting force is destroyed. So you know the character of Al Shabaab. Uh, they like to, uh, to to fight in, hit and run. So they think it to be payback. Now they are hiding here, more under trees. Ethiopian officials remember the unpleasant end to their last stay in Somalia. They have promised to leave by Doha as soon as conditions are stable. But Al Shabaab fighters have not been defeated. They've only melted into the countryside. Stability appears a long way off. Peter Heinlein, VOA News in Baidoa, Somalia. Meanwhile, the Islamic militant group Al-Shabaab fled the Somali city of Baidoa in late February without a fight, giving up a strategic center they captured from government forces three years ago. VOA's Peter Heinlein was among the first Western journalists to visit Baidoa in years where some residents describe it as a disaster. Flying to Baidoa in a vintage Ethiopian Airlines plane is an adventure in itself. The pilot negotiates a corkscrew landing to avoid possible mortar fire. The airport is heavily guarded. Much of colonial era Baidoa is in ruins from the war that toppled Somalia's last functioning government in 1991. The bullet-scarred shell of Baidoa's colonial era palace is a short drive from the airport. Graffiti-covered walls and an Al-Shabaab flag testify to the extremists' recent presence and links with Al-Qaeda. Now this once splendid mansion is Ethiopia's command post. General Johannes Voldegjorgis says the compound was captured without a shot. There was no resistance. They were displaced and ran away from the bases. But Al-Shabaab has vowed to return. The extremists also left behind a few surprises. Captain Mahmoud Isak displays crude bombs and remote detonators found by advancing troops. This is something to shell mortars. They use this thing for mortars to shell. This is shelling point. And this is also modific. For this thing, they, this also switch. This switch. So this thing is improvised explosive device. Ethiopia's last military adventure in Somalia ended badly in early 2009, but Captain Mahmoud Isak says after three years of Al-Shabaab's harsh rule, Ethiopians are being welcomed back. The Al-Shabaab, they, they, they did many wrong things with the people. They don't allow any Jews to come here. As you heard, there is many drought here. There is no any Jew at all here. 